Hello lovelies! Today I'm going to show you guys how to contour and highlight for a flawless chiseled face. I'll also share the baking technique for a finish that will appear as if photoshopped. Ah, oh, girl pains. You know what I mean? For the base today I will be using my Neon Photography Fluid. Now, this little baby is great if you're going out somewhere special where you'll be taking a lot of photos. I like to apply it in the diamond parts on my face aka the highest points and then just blend it out. So it just really helps by refracting the light to um, reflect away dullness and to make your face appear more three-dimensional and because it refracts light in so many directions it blurs out fine lines and large pores so you almost kind of like photoshopped. For foundation I'm going to be using my Mega Forever HD foundation. I'm actually going to be using two colors. 120 is more my skin tone so I'll be using this in the outer parts of my face and then this is 117 which I'll be using in the center just so it gives it a more of a three dimensional effect. So taking the lighter color first, just one pump, just dot it and the center parts on my face. And a small pump of the darker color, pat it in the sides of my face. So I don't like to put a lot of foundation on. Um, especially when I'm doing contouring because typically contouring tends to be more of a heavier look so if your foundation is really thick and you're also doing a contouring then it can look quite unnatural. Using my BH Buffer Brush and just starting with the lighter colour, moving in the centre of my face I'm just making very short strokes. You can barely see my bristles like moving around. Very light pressure. So just imagine your nose is the sun and your brushes are like sunbeams. Once the center is more blended, I can start to move out. You can even start to buff the brush by making circular motions. Just so the two colors blend together nicely. Whatever's left over, I'm going to apply it to my jawline and down my neck. Now that my skin is nice and even, it's time for concealer. Silence! Fluffy child! Be quiet! I love, 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 love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. I'm going to also apply it on my orbital bone, but I'm going to bring it over like this. I don't like to apply it too far up because especially your under eye area can get quite dry, or if you've got any fine lines, then this will just emphasize it more. And if you apply it all the way up, what happens is it can make your eyes appear swollen and smaller. So I'm just going to take the brush bring it down like this so it looks kind of like an angel's wing kind of like a triangle I'm just going to take my ring finger and I'm going to blend away doing this of course will help to minimize the appearance of dark circles but it's going to lift this area it really helps your cheekbones really come outwards you can see how this area looks much higher compared to this one which is lower if you can try to finish one eye before applying the next eye because sometimes the product can dry out so by the time you get to your next eye I might not blend as nicely. So I'm going to take the concealer down the bridge of my nose for highlight purposes. On my chin, center on my forehead. Blend away. If you want, you can use a lighter shade of concealer to really highlight this area. But since I'm going to be doing the baking method, um, I don't need to. Now we're going to move on to contouring. Now just in my personal opinion, I tend to think that using creams uh, gives you the most natural results. Um, I think using powder is easiest. Today we're actually going to be using both. This is my Color and Contour Cheek Stick by Trace Stick. First place I like to start is of course the cheekbones. And the key of contouring is just to make your face appear more defined, um, more structured, I guess. The guideline would be to go from the top of your ear to the edge of your lip. But you don't want to contour all the way down, okay? You like to stop where the edge of the eye is. Another thing to remember is you don't want to make the line really thick. It gets a little bit sharper here and it's slightly thicker at the back. You got a big old forehead like mine, you want to contour the sides as well. And also the jawline so it appears more defined here. You have a little bit of a double chinish going on. You can also apply a little bit underneath your chin as well. You can also contour your nose with the cream as well, but I tend to prefer using powder since it looks a bit more softer. Now it's time to blend it out. Back into the hairline. I'm just using very light pressure. 
When it comes to blending of the creams, I like to use um, sort of like a very dense brush that's angled. This is the Bubby Sculpting Brush. Good little circular motion, so it's nicely blended in and even. Already you can start to see there's more definition to my face. Naturally, you know, my face is quite flat and now you can see my cheekbones standing out more. So now we're going to add the powder on top of that. And the cream almost acts like a base. I will be using my Anastasia Contour Palette and I'm going to take this color right here because you want to make sure, especially when it comes to contouring, you don't choose something that's too warm for your skin tone. Taking my flat angled brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of this tap off the excess, do the fishy face if it helps, so you can really see it. Okay, from the top of my ear again, just bring it down. Do you see the definition here? You want to keep most of the color at the back, so as you move forward, it starts to fade away. See how it tapers into a point? When it comes to the jaw and forehead, I just go back to my contour brush. Forehead, so it looks nice and even. Okay, got that definition going on. It's time to do a little baking. The baking technique has actually been around for quite some time, but it's not until these recent years that it kind of blew up and everybody started doing it. It's not something that I do on a daily basis, but I do find that when I do it, it does tend to get very flawless Photoshop results. Before I do that, I just want to take my beauty blender and smooth out the under eye area to make sure there's no creasing. I'm going to be using my Shi Orimura Light Bulb Loose Powder. Um, especially when it comes to baking, I like to use something that's got a very hint, a very small hint of shimmer in it. So it turns out these are useful. Pop it very generously on my under eye area. I'm going to even shape it like a triangle. It looks very excessive now, but what's going to happen is because I'm going to give it some time to set, it will almost sort of cook with my body temperature. So when I dust off the excess, it's going to just highlight this area in the most incredible way. I'm also going to bake my nose bridge because it's all about highlighting. My chin of my forehead. It's also very important to bake it right underneath the contour as well because this area will really pop. So this is really handy, especially if you've done your contouring and it's far too low, so this will fix that. You can bring it as in as you want, but I kind of like to stop at the edge of my eye. So now I just let it bake on my face for about 5 minutes and during this time I'll go ahead and I'll do my makeup, I'll fill my brows and I'll be back. It's been about 5 minutes, I went off and you know put some makeup on and now I'm going to dust it off and see the magic. Now I like to use sort of like a smaller dense brush when I'm dusting with the powder because a slander can really go around the crevices of my face. And you see how this area is so highlighted? My chin. This air really pops because it was highlighted underneath. It really does make a difference when you bake versus just setting a light layer of this powder in your face. Okay, so down the nose bridge. Okay, so just fan it out. Especially in the eye area can't even see my dark circles. For blush, I'm going to be using my Wonder Punky blush. I'm just going to pop it right above the contour. So you don't want to go below it. You want to keep that line there. So some people like to keep the blush more the back. I kind of like having it in the center. So for highlight, I will be using the Becca Moonstone. So this was recommended by Nikki, of course. A little bit of the powder. 
to stop the excess. You want to apply at the high points of your face. So when the light hits it, it's like BAM! As you can see, the face still looks pretty natural. Now for contouring the nose, like I said, I just like to use parters. A little bit of the parter. And what you can also do is you can suck in your nose. <laughs> and you kind of see where to contour. Now, depending on your nose shape, everybody contours it differently. I've grown to really like my nose, but if I were to contour it, it would most likely be just in the tip mainly. Make sure you don't make it really thick. You want to just have it maybe like just like the width of your pinky. Or else it'll just make your nose look even wider. If your brush isn't thin enough, just pinch it. I'm going to follow the curve right here from my brow to my nose bridge. Okay, so instant nose job in a flash, and we are done. If I were to see even look at the camera, I can already see that my face definitely has more definition. So, as you can see with the contour and highlight, certainly has much more structure, it looks more defined to the point where it's more three-dimensional. It looks natural enough so it's not like boom in your face. Alright guys, so that is my highlight, contour, and baking tutorial for a flawless face. Now, this sort of contouring in the baking is not something I do on daily basis. Baking your makeup would be fantastic if you've got some special event to go to, like a wedding or a photo shoot, just because it photographs so well. Cons, because there's more products, it means it will take up more time. Wow, that highlight is incredible. Thank you for requesting this tutorial. And if you have any more video suggestions or requests, then remember to comment them below. Bye, everybody.